New at 10 o'clock, a shot in the arm for the state's economy as more and more film productions come to Montana. NBC Montana's Michael Saniscoy breaks down the numbers behind the boom and why it's not just the scenery drawing crews to the treasure state. Montana's mountainous backdrop is bringing in big dollar film productions from the TV show Yellowstone to its prequel 1923 and now plans on the table for the Alec Baldwin flick Russ to come to the Yellowstone Film Ranch in Paradise Valley this spring. We opened a little over two years ago and we've done uh, Nicolas Cage, Richard Dreyfus. We've had some really big stars. But it's not just the big sky scenery that's luring in the bright lights of Hollywood. The state's tax incentive program is part of the draw. The state of Montana has provided tax credits so filmmakers can get a portion of their money back that they spend. I reached out to the Montana Film Office to find out how it all works. I'm told producers take into account tax incentives to price out productions when searching for film locations. These filmmakers are looking globally. They're looking for a beautiful set of mountains. Montana has mountains, New Zealand has mountains, Chile has mountains, France has mountains. So they're gonna say, hey, tell us about your mountains and tell us about the way that we can get there because they've raised equity financing, and so their investors want to make sure they're getting a good deal. Productions get permission to film in the state, then send in a report once they're finished. The state sends back a tax credit letter. Wimmer says the tax incentives are a key part of helping rack in major dollars for local economies. According to the Montana Film Office, the total impact rang in at $154 million from 2020 to 2022. And direct spending on wages and expenditures hit close to $192 million in the same time frame. State tax revenue totaled just shy of $17 million. Wimmer notes there's tight competition for states to land productions and that Montana fills a certain role. In terms of scenery and in terms of us being a beautiful landscape to be in, highly competitive. However, we only have a million people. So if you're going to do, you know, a big zombie movie down the streets of New York City, probably not the best place. But we know if you want to do a little zombie movie down the streets of Butte, hey, we got you covered. For more information on Montana's media tax credit, find my article at NBCMontana.com. Pointing from Bozeman, Michael Santos Coy, NBC Montana.